Hey guys, today we're going to be doing a review of the Gold Arrows M183 Spring Airsoft Shotgun. And I want to start off by saying this is probably the best shotgun I've ever bought for Airsoft, and it was extremely cheap at only $25, and I would highly recommend it to any of you who are starting out airsofting, and even more so to people that have already gotten into it, because it is an amazing gun. It comes with four shotgun shells that hold 30 rounds each. It comes with some BBs as well, I'm not sure what weight they are, I'm guessing .2s. Um, it also comes with this really cool thing that holds your shells. It clips over onto the shotgun, which I'll show you in a minute. Um, also comes with a speed loader, as well as the makings that you need to attach a strap onto it. Taking everything out of the case, uh, it also comes with one of these rods for cleaning your gun, as well as uh, getting out jammed BBs. So I'll start with some specs on the gun. Um, it's 290 FPS, and that's with a .20 gram BB, so that makes it extremely accurate. It's got a 14 and a half inch barrel, and as I mentioned earlier, each of the shotgun shells holds 30 rounds. To attach the little shell holder, all you have to do, just flip it over. Um, there's a little groove right here that this will slide over and onto, and just push it down. And then the shells just go in from the top, and they stop at the bottom. There's a little lip to keep them from falling all the way out. You can just slide those all into their little slots. To load up one of these shells, all you have to do is take the speed loader that came with the gun, or one you already had, and put it right into the slot. You just put a couple BBs in. And then what you want to do is on the flip side, there's a little lever past the trigger guard right here that you push open, and then this folds out, and all you have to do is slide one of the shells inside and push down, and you can close the little cover for it, and you just cock it, and it's got a BB in the chamber ready to go. And then when you run out of ammo and say you're ready to put a new shell in, all you have to do is press that button that we use to open up the loading chamber to begin with, and you just press it and it'll shoot the shell out, which I think is a pretty cool little thing. One thing I should mention when you're ejecting a shell, you should always make sure that it is not in this position. Uh, you shouldn't have it half cocked, because then this opens up the little hole uh, so the BBs can feed in and if you have that open um, while the shell is in there and if you're out of BBs this little piece that pushes all the BBs out will get trapped inside of that and when you press the eject the shell button it won't actually fly out it'll get stocking off to get something to pry it out and similarly if it wasn't empty and you ejected it some BBs would go into the barrel um, since that little latch would be open. Getting into some of the other features of the gun, the safety is located behind the trigger guard. Pushing in from the left hand side of the gun will be safe mode. Pushing in from the opposite side will be ready to fire. There are also sling mounts mounted both on the back and left side of the gun as well as the front under the gun. Aiming for the gun is pretty simple. You've got your rear crosshairs located about halfway down the gun and then at the end of the barrel is your top crosshair. On the opposite side of the gun, the right side, we see the hop-up selector switch, and I've noticed on this gun that most of the time uh, being on hop-up, especially with the .20 gram BB, seems to be the most accurate. I will also point out again the release lever for the magazine is located on the right-hand side of the trigger guard just in front of it, and that'll again open up. I've gone ahead and uh, attached the sling to the gun, and now it's all ready to go. I'll have links for you guys in the description to where you could get this gun. Again, I highly recommend it to anyone who airsofts. This is an extremely good shotgun. And I will also have an annotation and links on this video um, to a shooting test for it. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and go check out the links if you're interested, and I will see you in the next one.